Although there haven't been any major e-commerce promotions recently, Chinese smartphone shoppers are currently experiencing what can only be described as another Black Friday. Several brands have started a promotional campaigns, even for phones that are already doing well in terms of affordability and sales, such as Redmi K60. This is due to the entry of two new flagship killers from the Oppo family, the OnePlus 11R and the Realme GT Neo 5, both of which I currently have in my hand. In comparison to the rough build quality of the Redmi K60, the super cool design and incredible price of OnePlus 11R and Realme GT Neo 5 make them excellent choices for consumers. So in this video, we will focus on the performance and camera capabilities of both phones and highlight their true strengths. Before we move into the comparison, there's a powerful PDF tool I want to share with you, which is the UPDF Editor. It's the most versatile PDF editor I've ever used for all platforms with just one license. The single license can access its full features with ease no matter on Windows, Mac, iOS, or Android devices. Without the license, the software is still free to download and you can still access its basic features. It mainly supports read, annotate, edit, convert or OCR, protect, reduce the PDF size, sign and organize PDFs, fill out forms, combine files into one PDF and so on. For example, the UPDF is extremely convenient for editing any PDF file and organize them like quickly adding, delete, rotate, replace, extract, split, crop and rearrange PDF pages. The feature I use a lot is to convert or OCR PDF pages. There are quite a lot of formats for options, including text, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and even HTML site pages. And you can also extract the readable text format inside the PDF by the OCR feature. It worked so well that we contacted them yesterday for a coupon code for you guys, as we thought it might work for you as well. You can add a coupon code while picking up a plan of its pro version to get an exclusive 53% discount. And remember, one UPDF license is available on all devices. Anyway, hope you have fun with the UPDF and remember to use the coupon code to save you money. Until the OnePlus 11R and GT Neo 5 came along, I never really expected a brand to bring both high performance and outstanding design to consumers in the $500 price range. The OnePlus 11R looks like a new color variant of OnePlus 11 as everything is so familiar. In fact, if not for this missing Hasselblad logo on the camera module, you would really have a hard time telling the two phones apart at first glance. Although the OnePlus 11R shares many similarities with its predecessor, the OnePlus 11, the former does feature some new elements. For instance, there's a special circle of texture on the camera module that resembles the intricate workings of a delicate mechanical watch. I also think the removal of Hasselblad logo makes the back cover of the phone look cleaner and more refined. In terms of weight and size control, the phone is very similar to the OnePlus 11 and features a nice edge curved screen compared to the OnePlus 10T that was released last year, making the phone more comfortable to hold. If you have been frustrated with OnePlus in the past, you will be pleased to know that the brand is listening to you. The OnePlus 11R has brought back the iconic side mute button that was staple in earlier OnePlus phones, making it a complete OnePlus phone in our memory. Overall, I believe the design of OnePlus 11R is almost impeccable and even more attractive than that of the OnePlus 11. Moreover, it has the same premium build quality as a flagship, which is a testament to OnePlus' commitment to maintaining its product design philosophy. Compared to the refined and balanced design of OnePlus 11R, the Realme GT Neo 5 sports a more pop and street look, complete with a sci-fi decoration next to the camera module. What's really cool is that Realme has placed a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 model under the translucent cover with a neon circle around it that adds to the phone's futuristic vibe. Similar to high-end gaming phones like the ROG phone, you can customize the lighting effect on the GT Neo 5, making it an eye-catching reminder or a special way to show off your achievements while playing competitive games. As someone who loves solid colors, I think the white variant of the GT Neo 5 series is the best choice. The camera module on the phone is very cool, and underneath it lies a whole white back cover with no extra texture, which creates a great sense of contrast. This phone is like a deep-rooted superhero in movies. You can never imagine how much power is hidden beneath its low-profile design. If you are someone who is very design conscious, it's an easy choice between these two phones, as they have very different personalities. The Realme GT Neo 5 is more like a gaming phone, while the OnePlus 11R is suitable for almost all types of consumers. Additionally, the side mute button of the OnePlus 11R is a practical design that sets its apart from other Android phones. If you are thinking of switching from the iPhone, I believe OnePlus will be the better choice. When it comes to the camera, both phones have a superior primary camera compared to their competition, 
They share the same sensor model as the Oppo Group's top flagship phone, the Find N2, the Sony IMAX A90. In my review of Find N2, I discovered that the sensor has a lot of potential, but the final quality of the photos is greatly influenced by the image processing algorithm. Thus, I was curious to see what difference the algorithm would make in the photos taken by these two phones. On paper, these two phones have very similar camera systems. However, one significant difference is that the macro lens on the GT Neo 5 supports super close focus, enabling it to take more interesting photos. Let's find out which phone takes better photos through a simple comparison. These sample photos were taken in wildlife daylight, making it difficult to determine which phone performs better. While the details and dynamic range were very close in both samples, there are some noticeable differences in terms of color style. In most cases, the GT Neo 5 photos have more vibrant colors and a slightly higher contrast, which may not come as a surprise to OnePlus users. Since the company has been collaborating with Hasselblad, the color style has become more realistic and natural. Despite the lack of image optimization from Hasselblad on the OnePlus 11R, these photos show that the natural color style is probably already present on all OnePlus phones. Another minor difference is that the OnePlus 11R has a slightly larger aperture, resulting in a shallower depth of field when capturing something up close. I thought some obvious differences would start to emerge when we moved to the night scene, but the truth is that the two phones still take similar photos in low light, both in terms of detail and dynamic range, and even the color style has become more uniform. In fact, I had difficulty distinguishing between the two phones when I removed the watermark from the photos. The only noticeable difference was that the OnePlus 11R produced brighter dark areas in some scenes, but with less detail upon closer inspection. As a result, I believe the GT Neo 5's low ISO strategy is a wiser choice. When it comes to macro photos, the two phones are very different. The OnePlus 11R's macro lens is ordinary, and the primary camera shot can even be cropped to get better results. In contrast, the GT Neo 5's 2 megapixel macro lens is more fascinating, allowing for capturing dramatic images at extremely close shooting distances. Given how well the primary camera and the wide angle lens perform, the macro lens's difference is game changing. Opting for the GT Neo 5 adds an extra perspective to your everyday life. Both the OnePlus 11R and GT Neo 5 featured a power efficient Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 platform, as well as luxurious thermal designs and energy efficient LPDDR5X memory. Despite having the same platform, the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 on the GT Neo 5 has a lower peak clock frequency. However, what practical difference does this make? From the benchmarks, it appears that the peak performance of the two phones is almost identical, with the OnePlus 11R having a slight advantage due to its higher CPU clock frequency. However, this difference does not appear to have a significant impact on heavy games. In Genshin Impact at the maximum graphic settings, although the GT Neo 5 produced the same average frame rates as the OnePlus 11R throughout gameplay, I observed that the OnePlus 11R's surface temperature was a bit high after long gaming sessions, so it seems that the vapor chamber's larger size doesn't really provide better cooling in heavy gaming. Another difference between the two phones is that the OnePlus 11R has a higher touch assembly rate, which can aid hardcore gamers in achieving greater precision and superior operation. Although the GT Neo 5 appears more like a gaming phone, if you are a serious gamer, I suggest getting the phone with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. It's almost no need to worry about fluctuation and heating issue. In terms of power solutions, the OnePlus 11R has a larger battery and it supports up to 100 watts of fast charging. On the other hand, the GT Neo 5 has more than twice the wide charging power of the OnePlus 11R. The Realme GT Neo 5 is currently the world's fastest charging smartphone and is able to complete a full charge in less than 10 minutes. Even if you just plug into the power supply for 5 minutes, it's capable of delivering a full day's worth of power. This sets a new standard in smartphone charging speed, leaving other smartphones far behind. My only request in this section is, please, is there anyone here who can send Realme engineers to Apple's R&D team to fix the super slow charging speed of the iPhone models? Well, that's all we had to share in this comparison between the OnePlus 11R and Realme GT Neo 5. Both phones offer excellent value for their $500 price point, and you can compare their design, screen display, and power solution to figure out which one is better for you. For most consumers, the OnePlus 11R and Realme GT Neo 5 are among the smartest choices, especially if you don't have a strong preference for a practical brand's product ecosystem. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. This is Wolf from Gizmo China, and we'll see you next time.